What's up guys, Hardcore Hector here, and I thought I'd give a little kind of a tech informational video on the Xbox One controller when syncing it to either the Xbox One console or to PCs. So, of course, here we have the Xbox One controller, and if you, maybe you have a friend that's coming over and wants to play on your Xbox One, and he has an Xbox One, so he just brings over his controller so you can play a little split screen or multiplayer or whatever, you're going to have to sync your controller or his controller to your Xbox One. So, really simple, all you do is take your Xbox One console and turn it this way. And you'll see there's a button here, you just hold it down while the Xbox One cons console is on, of course. And then you hold down this button right here. And then you just hold them down until the little light pretty much stops circling. And then in a few seconds, it just syncs right to the Xbox One console. But you can also use the Xbox One controller on the PC for select PC games. But before you do that, you have to download a certain set of drivers and install them. I'll put the link in the description. But once they're all installed, you gotta get any micro USB to USB cable. Now the console doesn't come with one of those, unfortunately, but a lot of smartphones use them and you can also buy some probably really, really cheap. So you put the micro USB into the top and then the USB into a USB plug on your computer and that's really it. Well, after you install the drivers, that's it. And a lot of games, well pretty much almost, I'm just gonna say almost all games that have also released on the 360, the Xbox One, the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 have, and that are on PC, have controller support and work really, really easily with an Xbox One controller, but not all. If you guys saw some of my streaming during Halloween, I tried to play Fear and Condemn Criminal Origins, which are some great horror games, but they did not really have any controller support. I just had to use a mouse and keyboard. So a lot of other great games do have controller support, but you got to remember this. Once you plug it into the PC, it becomes synced to the PC, and you can't use it wirelessly because there's no wireless connection like that. So if you want to use the same controller on the Xbox One console afterwards, you're either going to have to connect it to the side because there's also USB ports on the side of the Xbox One console and that'll automatically sync it back to the console or you're going to have to do the wireless sync procedure all over again. But remember, you're going to have to resync it back and forth so it's probably easiest just to plug it right in. That's pretty much all there is to this whole syncing thing. So I hope this video was helpful. If you thought it was, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't think it was that great, you can give it a thumbs down and subscribe to my channel for more, maybe some tech related tips like this and a lot of video game videos, basically. I don't just talk about video games, I actually play them and sometimes a little commentary. So that's about it. So see ya.